everybody. Welcome to Cloud City. I'm Chris. You saw the flight footage of the uh, Red Bull Edge 540 that I uh, put together. And uh, it's a great little plane. And I'm very happy with it. It's a great backyard flyer. A few things I'll point out. Um, I did upgrade the motor to a brushless. It, can't, it comes with a brushed motor. I upgraded to a brushless. Um, I also uh, decided to go with a different prop. They came, it came with a 10 uh, by 4 prop, which is huge. And for the battery that I wanted to use, which is a uh, Blue Light Bull brand 800 milliamp 7.4 volt 20C discharge battery, uh, the thrust was a little too much for it. So I decided to go with an 8 by 4 prop. It works really well. Also, another thing, uh, the directions specifically say to use CA glue. I did not use CA glue. I used mostly epoxy, 5 minute epoxy. I just like that better. It's just a preference. So you do what you want, but I like the epoxy. It seems to hold up better with this particular plane anyways. Um, it's a four channel plane. You've got your throttle for your, for your motor here. You've got ailerons, and you've got your rudder and your elevator. And uh, the roll rate is really good with this. You can do some really cool tricks with it up in the air. It's very light. Uh, it's only about six to seven ounces with everything on it. So uh, you really need to have a calm day to fly it. I'd say five mile an hour winds and below, honestly, because it does get a little bit choppy when you're flying it uh, in too, too much wind. Uh, it does come with landing gear in the box. I decided not to use the landing gear for the simple fact I didn't want to rip the foam apart uh, upon landing in the grass, which probably would happen. This foam is very brittle and it breaks very easy. So I belly land it and that works really well for me. Um, let's see what else here. Got my uh, reinforcers here. Calls for uh, one reinforcer basically to help the body uh, when you're flying to keep it stable. I use two enforcers, reinforcers uh, just, to make it, just to make it work a little better because basically you've got a carbon fiber rod that goes all the way through here and you glue everything, the fuselage like the top and the sides and the bottom. So you're gluing everything to that carbon fiber rod. So I decided to reinforce it a little bit more. These wings actually should be up about, I don't know, half an inch more. So I just decided to reinforce the body better. That way upon belly landing it wouldn't you know, break into pieces or whatever. So I'm very happy with it. It's my first ARF project. And uh, it's just a great little flyer. It's fun to go out in the backyard and, and zip around, as you saw from the video. Um, does all the tricks you want, uh, the rolls, the, the loops, inside loops, uh, inverted flying is really good, it's a pretty stable inverted flyer, and uh, very happy with it. So thanks for checking it out and taking your time with me. I thank you for your support and your comments, your subscriptions, and all that. So happy flying, take care, and I'll see you next time.